Hey guys, it's Jessie from Jessie's Library over on Bookstagram, and today I have a book review for you guys. It's on a book that I finished in two days that I really loved and enjoyed, and it definitely came highly recommended, so I'm so glad I included it on my spring reading list. It is Ugly Love by Colleen Hoover, and this is a story about this girl named Tate who moves in with her brother. He's an airline pilot, and across the hall is his friend and also a pilot, Miles. And Miles obviously travels a lot because he's a pilot. And then Tate is going to school and is a nurse, so she's working full time and going to school. And so they both decide that they are physically attracted to each other, but know that they can't really commit to much more. So they decide to have this whole like friends with benefits kind of thing. And so that's kind of where this whole book plays out. And I don't want to give too much away, so I'm just going to end it there. But what I will tell you is I was a little hesitant going into this because I feel like this is such a cl cliche and it could be like so overdone. It could be really cheesy. And I felt like with a lot of other romances that kind of go the same way, like I get made fun of all the time because I love Nicholas Sparks and I don't even care. Like it's a guilty pleasure. But there is a reason, the more I think about it, that his work is so popular yes they run on templates and that's what everybody kind of like their biggest like hang up is is that almost every book is the same i'm kind of figuring out that not that colleen hoover's books are all the same i mean i think they're all slightly different but they follow a sort of template as well and i think that's why these work so well this book was addicting as all all of her books that i've read so far they're addicting and i definitely binged read this so quickly i stayed up to like 2 a.m and read over like 200 pages or almost 200 pages that one night just like all in one sitting because I just couldn't get enough. So like I said, I was definitely addicted to it. So kind of diving into some of the things that I really liked about it. I liked that it had a little bit of some trauma that happened and it gives these characters some depth. It allows us to watch them kind of grow and figure out who they are, what they want, kind of moving past this grief and the trauma and getting through it, finding out that there is light at the end of the tunnel. And then, you know, kind of moving forward, um, fighting for what they want or fighting for love and just all this really good stuff. I think it, it touched on a lot of different topics very well and just allowed you to really connect and feel with these characters. As with every Coho book, like I was saying, you really start to feel things and that's what she does best. She really like evokes all these incredibly deep like emotions, whether you've actually been in the same situation or not, it evokes these crazy deep feelings. And I thought that, you know, I at points I was like, oh my gosh, my heart is breaking for these characters. And I just couldn't like deal with it. It was so sad and so devastating. And yet it had a lot of twists I didn't see coming. There were definitely parts that made me super happy and giddy and like freaking out. So I know you guys know what I'm talking about when you read this. And just the heads up. It does have some very like explicit kind of things. It definitely has a lot of um, sexual content. So if that's something you're not very comfortable with, watch out because this one was pretty heavy on it. Um, definitely not as crazy as like Fifty Shades of Grey, but definitely a little more intense. So then going back to the characters, Tate and Miles, I was constantly frustrated with them because I felt like when one finally got on board with you know, being either together or not together, and then the other one would switch, and then the, I felt like they were just constantly going back and forth. Neither one of them knew what they wanted or what to do, and it wasn't until towards the end that things start to get straightened out, and my frustrations kind of lifted, because that the whole time you were rooting for them, and yet rooting against them because of just all the heartbreak that was happening. One of my favorite characters, though, would definitely have to be Cap. He was the sweetest, coolest, like most awesome old man ever and I would definitely have been his friend. I would have been with Tate. I would have been taking him food and just talking his ear off and just hanging out with him because he seemed like such a cool guy and I loved his little advice too. He knew exactly when to just take a step back and just listen to everything or when to kind of step back in and give some advice and what he did have to say you know and what advice he did give was always extremely knowledgeable and definitely came from years of experience and um, so I definitely just loved his character. Almost wish there would have been a little bit more of him there because he was just so adorable. So the writing in this was also really different, I think. Um, what I really liked is it had alternating point of views. So we got to see Tate's whole side of the story, how she was feeling 
um, kind of looking onto their relationship. And then you also got Miles' side looking at their relationship also on his past and the trauma that happened to him. So I think getting his perspective on things really added um, just to the overall story, to his character, obviously. And his parts were also very like poetic feeling. And I thought that was so beautiful and well done. Pretty sure that Miles' chapters would probably be my favorite just because you really got to see the development of his character through all of the like things that he had to say in the past that, you know, because it took place six years in the past. So being able to kind of flip back and forth between present and his past, and most of the present was told through Tate's and then most of his the past stuff was told through him. So I really liked his chapters. I thought they added a lot of extra depth and emotion and really allowed you to connect and feel for him because he was such a hard character at the beginning. He was definitely a mystery and that's why I loved those because it allowed you to kind of piece together certain pieces, allowed him to show um, kind of like I don't even know what I'm trying to say, but basically it like unfolds his character. You get to see why the way he, why he is the way he is and what kind of happened to make him that way. And then you kind of see everything kind of break down from there. So I thought that was really cool. And like I said, it was just probably one of my favorite parts of the book was being able to see his involvement. So I really feel like this maybe wasn't the most collective or cohesive kind of thoughts, but I really love this book and I just found it to be, I was basically just too attached to this book right now. Like I can't seem to get past just the emotions and the feelings I have for the book. So I think that's why I'm kind of struggling here on trying to make something a little bit more thoughtful for you. But I definitely enjoyed this book. I felt so many different things and I just loved it. It's addictive. The characters are great. The mystery is amazing as well. And then of course everything wraps up so well at the end. So definitely enjoyed it. I hope you guys will too. And then I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Even though it might have been a little rambly, that's okay. Hopefully. Hopefully. Um, so yeah, I will see you guys again soon. I hope you guys will subscribe and stay tuned. I've got a lot more coming your way. I hope you have a great day and I will see you next time.